The art portfolio consists of 16 prints of images by contemporary British artists created specially for Habitat in a limited edition of 100 in pigmented inks on a heritage paper. It's every curator's dream to have carte blanche and when Polly Dickens invited me to come to curate a portfolio for Habitat, I was very excited to put together a body of work by some of my very favourite artists. What excites me about the portfolio is it provides a rare opportunity for the wider public to acquire work by some of Britain's most celebrated contemporary artists who have not only created iconic images, but who have proved inspirational to new and emerging talent. This first series, The Alchemy of Line and Colour, includes a selection of British artists who are each working very much in their own way, their own style, but they all share a very strong graphic element to their work using largely bold, clean lines and flat planes of colour. The art portfolio includes three prints by William Scott, who is now deceased. He was born in 1913 and next year, January of next year, Tate will celebrate his centenary with an exhibition in Tate's St Ives. So Patrick Caulfield, sometimes known as godfather of British pop art, um, perceived himself actually as a formal artist, which he was, and he worked very much with bold lines, flat planes of colour to create that trademark signature um, that you see clearly in the portfolio. Claire Woods, a rising star, recently exhibiting at Southampton Art Gallery with a major exhibition and created work specifically commissioned for the Olympics, exhibited at the beginning of this year up at Hepworth in Wakefield, fantastic exhibition, epic work. All of the artists in the portfolio have largely exhibited internationally and are represented in international collections, whether public or private. Bruce McLean has been professor and head of painting at the Slade School of Art, known particularly for his very infectious wit and humour, has um, worked in a myriad of different mediums across the board, but known internationally, particularly for his printmaking and his paintings. My best advice when buying an artwork from the Habitat art portfolio would be to choose something that captures your imagination and lifts your heart. <laughs>